<laughs> hey, everybody. Hello. For for those of you who are new listeners, my name is Kelly Ryan. My name is Allie Ryan. And welcome to Night Coop, everybody. Um, we originally started off as a podcast called Just Talking. And you wouldn't believe how many podcasts are called Just, Just Talking. Talkin'. So we decided to change it up a little bit. Doing we have- a reboot. Doing a reboot. Uh, this is Night Coop. We are basically... Uh, Owning the fact that we are a hen house. Yes. Okay? Yes. We are loud women who clock a lot. That's right. Okay. And you may find us annoying. And that's okay. And you know what? But there's a demographic of other hens. <laughs> <laughs> who will not find us annoying. Who will be like, you know what? Finally, somebody's fucking saying it. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. And, and we might say some things that are not... Uh, sure. Yep. I might say <laughs> something today that I'll disagree with two hours from now. But that's, that's life. That's life. Things change. That's the hen house. You know what I'm saying? You say things that you go, I don't know if I should have said that. <laughs> yeah. But but you're you're starting a revolution. Yeah. As of, a hen. <laughs> as a hen, an honest hen mm-hmm. who who is saying what's on their mind at the time. The idea here, people, is that grab your favorite glass of wine. Grab a cup of tea if you're yeah. not a drinker. Uh, right. Although I don't know how many non-drinkers we really have listening. I that's fair. Yeah. That's yeah. Fair. Grab 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 whatever uh, beverage of your choice and sit down, get comfortable. Yuck it up. Damn it. <laughs> you know what I mean? God forbid. God this forbid. Life we... is too short not to yuck. We're yucking and clucking, okay? <laughs> That's right. In this hen house. Um so obviously, you know, just talking, we it was kind of a free for all type of thing and now what we've decided to do is add some structure to the whole uh podcast because when we ramble, um, it can go on and on and, and on and on and on. They just we need we need moments uh, where where we look at each other and we say, okay, now it's time for this. Um, yes, or you can pause on that and and work on it at a later date. Yes, uh, but for now we're moving on. Yes, and that's that's really that's why the structure is in place. Um, we also feel like it's going to provide for us some fun times. Yeah. Um, oh, let's touch on the outfits real quick. Um, this it will be reoccurring. For those of you that are listening, not watching the YouTube, we're in denim, and we will be in denim for every episode. And we forward. look great. And we look great. It matches our eyes perfectly. We have blue eyes. Uh, it matches our eyes perfectly. And, you know, the idea here is that we're on a farm. God forbid. And you know what? It's it's going back to back to our roots as human as human beings. Farm you know? farm farmers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's what, I mean, it was what, what one of the first jobs. It was one of the first jobs. Yeah, for a minute, it was like the farming. only job. I mean, you couldn't really on. do much. Come on. There was and, blacksmith, but how the hell would we dress up like that? <laughs> Just <laughs> welding overalls every episode. <laughs> <laughs> I've never looked good as a welder. <laughs> Well, a welder is different from a blacksmith. This is why we need structure. <laughs> because are they different? I think so. I thought they'd work with metals the whole time. There's wood shop. I think a black a blacksmith blacksmith makes locks, right? And a welder a makes, welder, a makes wel- shovels. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, a welder connects metals together. Welding together. Welding together. And then the blacksmith, blacksmith makes the... Makes a good name for a gastropub, really. That's, <laughs> that's all that it does. <laughs> okay. So, what we're going to do, we're going to get started with our first segment. For, first segment, which really doesn't have that original name to it, but it's just... We're doing the news. <laughs> we're doing the news. We're doing current events. You know, we felt like people... Uh, we're expecting us to comment on certain things that are happening this day and mm-hmm. age. And um, for a while, we tried to sway- stay away from it. When we when we did just talk, and, and trust me, I won't mention it again. But when we did, we <laughs> didn't really talk about things that were happening now in order to stay away from being controversial. But if you know right. anything about a hen house, you know that these hens will cluck on about anything. That's right. Okay? That's right. And so we And are- it doesn't matter that I failed the only journalism class I took. It does not matter. It does not not anymore matter. I still have a voice. <laughs> I do. I, I'm not the only. So we're going to be talking about current events. Yes, current events, and you know it's hard with current events these days because things keep happening. Things you know? keep happening. They oh, really by the way, do. we are having a what? Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. Joel got trying Joel to get Gott. sponsored. Eh. It's my favorite wine. It's my favorite wine. You don't not like a, it? Not in, <laughs> not in the fridge for too long, huh? 
I just bought it. I don't know what they're doing over at the liquor store. Fridge should be under 42. Fridge should be under 42, but we're going through a crisis, aren't we, with the water? The drought? Is that when you get freeze things? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how this works. But anyways, <laughs> I, I don't know how a freezer works. Let me talk politics. <laughs> Okay, so so uh, let's start off with the big kicker, the big kick in the old nuts that's happened. No fucking kidding, that's happened recently. Jesus hell. Uh, so first of all, the Supreme Court did their whole thing, you know, turning did around their whole load of bullshit. Yeah, turned around Roe v. Wade. If you know anything about anything, you know that was a bad decision. These I don't, I don't ugly know how to... motherfuckers. They're so ugly. They, that's the worst part of it all. Is that I was thinking about this. And you know that every single one of those people that that vote that basically Trump put into office or whatever, the whole their whole way through life, people went, how did they get that? They are so annoying. Uh -huh. But they clawed their way to the top, preying on morons, and now they're in charge. And now here we are. And, and now, now here we are. Imagine being, imagine being that dumb, that dumb bitch who, who voted for this. The one woman yeah, that voted yeah, yeah, for yeah. this. Imagine because being she's, her. She's one of those, yeah, you know, she's one of those women who's always just like agreeing with the men so she doesn't get rejected by the men. Ah! Uh, there. I that, said it. You, there, I said it. Ah! Uh, she probably makes fun. She's so, she's so, you know, she's exactly what you think she'd be. Oh, 100%. And isn't that, isn't that really the issue? There's no surprises here. They're There's, exactly yeah. what you think they'd be. Yeah. Assholes. Yeah. yeah. Morons. Yeah. Jerk offs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. No, and I feel bad for the other uh, two. say it to their face. You know who I feel bad for? I feel bad for the other two women, and now three. There's a third that just mm -hmm. got uh, added today. Uh, I feel bad for the first, uh, first black woman got added today. Love it. That's huge. Anyways. So those three, you know they fucking hate the other one. Yep. You know they hate her. Oh, yeah. And if you're not getting along with the other women in the group, there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. Because, I mean, I got to tell you this. Also, I went to a Catholic high school. Okay? I went uh -huh. to a Catholic high school. Uh -huh. And even them, when they were going to the March for Life, I think they could only get like 25 of those fuckers to go down there. At the Catholic high school. Even all the kids in Who the... Who even did the March for Life? Not anybody we knew. Did, did someone There's know? people that I knew, but people who, you know... I mean, they were brought up to kind of... I remember somebody asked me. They were like, do you want to do the March for Life? I was like, what is that? They were like, we go down and we protest against, against uh, uh, abortion. And I said, I'm okay. Because, <laughs> like, I think two weeks prior, I had argued with the morality teacher about it. And she was like... Please don't do this in my class. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? The other thing is, is that um, the the march for uh, I don't understand how you can march for life, but not march for all those other things. Like march. Why aren't you marching about the formula shortage? Why aren't you marching about all these other things that impact yeah. life? Yeah, yeah. You just you. It's weird. It is weird, and it's all of it's always dumb. it. A lot of it is is girls that have never dyed their hair. Have you ever noticed that? <laughs> it's women that have never it's dyed natural. Their, it's got the ugly wave. <laughs> yeah, it's got the ugly wave and natural hair going, and you're going, oh, you've never, you you just you know, yeah. No yeah. one, no one's eaten your box before. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's the truth well and that's the thing that's the thing about these guys too these guys that they're like you know you have to you have to have the baby because it's like they get laid so rarely yeah so rarely that mm -hmm. they're looking at the person who they're sleeping with and they're going if you don't have my child how the hell else am i gonna have a child yeah whereas yeah. you know men who you know get pussy left and right they don't get they're like please abortion's totally fine with me yeah, I'd you know have a I mean? million kids by now. Yeah. If we didn't figure this out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you might think to yourself, you know, Kelly, Allie, whoa, this language. What are you talking about? This is the hen house, people. Yeah. This is the stuff that you say to your friends on wine night. Okay? That's right. That's and here's... Right. Super, come here. Okay. All right, sorry, my lovely dog. There's one dog a lot in the hen house, and it's because he's smaller than all <laughs> than hens. <the> hens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> 
So anyways, so it, but not only that with the abortion stuff, but they're also doing the climate change. They went back on that. They're doing stuff about even if with some new evidence you can't get out of jail. I mean, they're 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 running amok. They're running amok. And they're ugly on top of it. I don't understand. I don't know. Pick, pick. Pick. You can't <laughs> be ugly and wrong. You can't. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. And all right. Okay. All right. Now I'm all fired up. Now I'm no, all fired I'm sweating. up. Sweating. Okay. Let's talk about something lighter. Let's talk about let's talk about what happened at the Rhode Island Dunkin' Donuts. This oh is a good God, one. This is so <laughs> funny. Okay, so in Rhode Island, I guess they had a sale or a a um uh like a marketing campaign or something for where, Dunkin' Donuts for Dunkin' Donuts where they were offering free Dunkin' Donuts to people from White Plains and Rhode Island copied the post about it and accidentally offered free coffee to white people <laughs> yes they they accidentally they didn't remove the word white from the town uh from uh before stating the town that they were actually doing the campaign in so instead i what, what's the name of it let me pull it up hold on one second I don't know what the name of the town is. But. I, yeah. I oh, you have a screenshot here. of it. Okay. Uh, they accidentally wrote open to white Cranston, Rhode Island residents instead of just <laughs> Cranston, Rhode Island. <laughs> Which <laughs> you can't be making these mistakes. You Kelly, can't be making these mistakes. Kelly, get your dog off the table, please. I love him, but. What do we live on a farm? Come on. He, hey, he has a seat at the table just as much as everybody else. He doesn't talk a lot, but. He likes to be here. <laughs> Cranston, Rhode Island, you messed up. <laughs> yeah, Cranston, Rhode Island, you messed up. But but I want to know the people that came in and were like, I'd like to claim my coffee. <laughs> like, who went in and was like, uh, yeah, hello? How did they, I wonder how they found out they made the mistake. Did someone go in and say? Either that or it was like somebody online was like, oh, my God. And then they posted it, and they canceled Duncan Duncan Dun <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts. You know what though? It's like you don't just call somebody at the store and say, "Hey, hey, I don't know if you guys realize, but unfortunately, what? everything doesn't have to be put online because you know yeah. some intern or some somebody was like, oh no, oh no, just um, like the guy who uh, accidentally removed the decimal or whatever from the gas prices, and then he got fired because instead of doing six ninety whatever for a gallon, he did sixty nine cents." Did he, he put, really? Yeah, he put the decimal in the wrong spot, and I, they lost, like, thousands of dollars within just a couple hours. He oh, he up. put it in the wrong spot on the computer? Yeah. Oh, yeah, not yeah, yeah. just on the sign? Yeah, so gas oh. was only, like, 69 cents for a few hours. 69 cents he for a few. He got fired. He got fired? Honest mistake. Honest mistake. Honest mistake. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of honest mistakes, okay, what happened in Georgia in Atlanta, Georgia, at a subway. Oh my goodness, okay. this is bonkers. Go ahead. Two people, one in critical condition, one died because one of the subway employees put too much mayonnaise on a sandwich. They were shot and killed. How much mayonnaise did they put? This no, no, like no, victim no. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not victim blaming. I'm just saying. How ma how much mayonnaise do you have to put where somebody I don't know. shoots you over it? I don't know. Did they refuse to remake the sandwich? <laughs> what if they just wrapped they, the tub? They they just it to dunked them. it in the tub and like like a corn dog almost. <laughs> here, here you go. Yeah, how much mayonnaise would you have to put? I don't know, but I think people are just so insane that they 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 just they they've lost their marbles. They've lost their marbles. You know what, though? And I've always thought it was dangerous to work at a subway, but not for that reason. I never thought Can that. I have your reasoning? Oh, they're open late at night. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the gas station of sandwiches. You know, I did know a guy who worked at a subway, and one time somebody drove a car right through the front window and really? into the shop, and they were closed. Was for it a subway like a car? Days. Oh, I see what you're doing. Uh-huh. No, I think it was just her. like a sedan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sedanwich. Ah. Um. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Subway, but, but I do feel like, though, whenever you 
have a clientele that is totally okay with ignoring the past of Subway, you're going to get some locos. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I can't step foot into a Subway without thinking about all the stuff that happened. Because you knew that they knew about Jared. It's also not good. No, it's not good either. It's not a good sandwich. Does no. anyone want to talk about that? It's objectively not a good sandwich. I don't know why you would go to Subway if you had any other deli ever. Or if you Literally could, ever. Or really if you just have hands to make your own sandwich. <laughs> I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, I mean, it's really, it's not, there's quite literally nothing special about it at all. I, you know what it is? So I like to think that when these companies took off, originally they had higher quality product. But now I'm thinking back on it and I'm like, I don't even know if that's true. I don't know if they ever did have higher quality ham. Probably not. But it would be weird if you went to a subway and you were like, now that's high quality ham. But I do have to say, Kelly, you know, when we were a lot younger, there was a girl at a subway who was very nice to you and always made your sandwich exactly as no you. No one's saying the employees are bad. I mean, that guy did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, that's no, horrible, no, but... though. He shot two people over one sandwich? Yeah. What? What? <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's nuts. I mean, was it, were they both working on the sandwich? That's ridiculous. <laughs> One hand each. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, that is horrible. Though, it right? is, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. It's not even... This was in Georgia? Yeah, Atlanta. People are getting hot. Every time it gets the hot, heat makes people, people crazy. It also, makes them crazy. But it is interesting to want a sandwich in the heat. <laughs> I mean, this guy's already kind of crazy. I mean, no, a cold sandwich? I guess you're right. <laughs> cold sandwich in the heat? No, you bring that to the beach. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Get sand in your sandwich, though. That's the worst. I, it's very hard to eat on a beach. That's what they don't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, you want to go to the beach? I'm like, mm. Mm. it's hard to eat there. <laughs> oh, can I bring my sandwich to the beach? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I always... I what? Like, it's like, time to eat my sandwich, and they like take out, take out their boot and like dump it in sand, and then it's just your sandwich in the middle of the boot. I don't know what you're saying. But I, in the middle of your boot, when you go to the beach and you dump out sand, oh, and the sandwich falls out of oh, the boot. Oh. I, it's hard to even have fun at the beach, because the whole time I'm thinking about getting a UTI by accident. Yeast infection? One of the two. Can't go in the water, can we? You know what I mean? You got to bring a change of underwear. I don't like the water. Oh. <laughs> I don't. You I don't like going in the water. Well, here's my thing about the ocean. Who's down there? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? They keep finding stuff. They yeah. keep finding stuff in the ocean. They do. I, 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 it's like, and half the time you, you hear of things that go poorly on vacation. It's like, where were they? In the water. <laughs> That is so true. Yeah. We're not supposed to be in the water. No. Period. If you have to hold your breath to be in it for 10 seconds, you're not supposed to be in it. We're allergic. Think of it that way. That's a... Take that, <laughs> anyone who take. swam in high school and thought they were cool. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally, I get to speak my piece about high school swimmers that were rude to me. Swimming is so... I mean, come on. They were so competitive in high school about swimming. It was weird. They had broad shoulders. It's like, what are you, a fish? If they didn't have that to do with it, they would have if they made, what? gotten made fun of. Too if broader shoulders. Too broader shoulders? Yeah. They didn't have that to do with it. They would get made fun of. So they have to be like, well, I was supposed to be a fish. So. <laughs> <laughs> so there so you go. actually. Speaking of in the water and swimming and water type things sort of uh, a boy in germany <laughs> oh yeah this is actually another story a boy in germany eight years old was was playing or whatever he went down into the sewers and was found a week later okay and he was just walking around <laughs> down there for a week was he fine he got hypothermia and was dehydrated but yeah he's fine and they were like we were so happy we found him and i was like yeah yeah yeah, I don't know. I mean, imagine being by yourself during that. In the sewer? In the sewer. Yeah, what whatever you, it smelled. What are you, from Ninja Turtles or whatever? Maybe that's what he thought. He was like, I'm going to go down there. I'm going to find that rat with pizza or whatever the hell. Yeah. 
I mean, did he venture down there? They're saying that they think he crawled down there while playing. However, what's I going don't... on at home? <laughs> yeah, what's going on at home for real? Where you were like, this seems better. <laughs> I mean, buy the kids some Legos. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, because now what's going to happen is for the rest of his life, he's going to have nightmares about being in a sewer. Yeah, he's got to deal with all that. God forbid the bitch that dates him. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> well, when I was in the sewers for the... Shut the, the hell, hell up. up. You're the one that went down there. I'm not blaming him. He's like... <laughs> I'm terrible I'm not about this. What? We're terrible about this. <laughs> well, how much money did, did you put on it? it? How much money did you put on it? You're the one who went down there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I Take mean, some accountability. <laughs> I mean, come on. Did no one ever teach you to not go in the sewers? I mean, you. here's the thing. Did you have common, to be taught? Com common sense is gone. Common it's gone. Sense is I gone. never at eight years old was like, what if I went down there in the dark but you where know what, nobody though? else is? I've never known the Germans for their common sense, if you know what I'm saying. They have mm -hmm. a rough past when it goes to that. Hitler, everybody, is what I'm referencing. But we're keeping it current. But we're keeping it light. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay. Well, I think we did it. I think we did the current events. Uh, I hope you guys feel informed. Bees. Oh, I, sorry, this last story. Oh, this <laughs> last, last story. Uh, our, our the, the NYPD had to, uh, beekeepers had to escort 20,000 bees from a, uh, a restaurant in New York City. Escort is a great word to use. The, well, they had to, they had to grab leave. Em. <laughs> they had to grab them and take them. But I just, I, you know, imagine like they called for a reservation. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be 20 grand of us. Uh, do, you think, <laughs> do you think every bee calls their wife honey? <laughs> Boo. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I thought it was fine. It, I thought it was good. It was. Do you, uh, do you think that they got stung? The people that were trying to get them out of there? No, no, no. Because I guess the NYPD actually has beekeepers. No way. They're part of the force. Yeah, I mean they. Go, this is what a textile is going. Through. They, uh, <laughs> they. No, they. For real, this they. Uh, I think that they have a department of actual beekeepers. You're shitting me. Well, really? because they call them the NYPD beekeepers. <laughs> so, so I'm assuming they're part of the squad. Do they have? They, do they, they have, have an ant man? Condition. Do they have? What do they have? <laughs> what? 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 They have their own police car, like the K nine unit, where the where the B unit, where the B, the B unit, the B unit, and then they hop out of the car, and they got the big suits on and everything. I wonder how many times they're getting called a week. How many bees are? What's what's going on? Well, there's less and less and less, unfortunately. Yeah, the bees are dying. God forbid they want to go out to eat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and they want to live it up on their final days. <laughs> you would think, though, if they really wanted to eat, they go to a flower shop. You would think. But, you know, what? maybe they're sick and tired of them. They want lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame them. <laughs> they're Italian bees. <laughs> Stupid. All right. Our next topic. Very excited about this. What? What are you looking at me for? <laughs> I keep you know, getting... They, you know, they... Hold on. <laughs> we got more you bee know. humor. Hold on. <laughs> Go ahead. Let it rip. What is it? They ended up going to an Italian restaurant, but the first place they tried to stop by was BuzzFeed. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, folks. Yeah. And then the woman at the front was like, answer these 10 questions to figure out what kind of bee you are. <laughs> and they were like, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay. All right. So our next segment um, is called "We've Got Beef," and uh, we're talking we're talking about people and things that that we well we got beef with got um, a problem. We got a problem with, uh, you know, hopefully um, we don't come across as too bitchy. <laughs> I think I'm going to be fair. <laughs> you think you're going to be fair? Okay. I think then why don't you kick us off? Okay. You know who I have beef with? Go ahead. I have beef with the company Q-Tip. And the reason why I have beef with them, uh -huh. what? Let it rip. Okay, the reason why I have beef with them is because uh, doctors um, and the internet says that you should not put a Q-tip in your ear when you feel like you uh, need Watch to. me. Watch me do it. <laughs> well, that's what they say, but they don't change the shape of the Q-tip. It's the perfect 
It is the perfect shape to go into your ear. So why wouldn't you change it if you don't want people doing it? See, I think they're in cahoots. They're in cahoots. I think they're in cahoots with Big Pharma, <laughs> okay, who wants to keep selling ear infection medicine or whatever the hell. So they keep market. They don't market it on the thing. They, do you, you ever see the picture? They put it as as if as if people are always using it for their eyes. Everybody's using it for their fucking ears. For their eyes? Yeah, like underneath your eye. That's what the picture is on the image. But you know Betty White in an advertisement long time ago for Q-tip. She put it in her ear? Yes, yeah, says specifically that it's supposed to, you know, you're supposed to use it for the, your ear. But then everybody was all up in arms because we're like, we're getting ear infection after ear infection. But my thing is, is that insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. So why are you keeping it the same shape, expecting us to not put it in our ear? Because, because if you couldn't, if you physically couldn't put it in your ear, no one would buy it. No one would buy the Q-tip. You're in cahoots. Yeah, Q-tip. because because you can get stuff from underneath your eye with just your fucking finger. Yeah. Okay. Or you could get it with a regular cotton swab. You know, an off-brand Q-tip isn't even known as a Q-tip, obviously, because it's like a Kleenex. That's the name of the brand. Yeah. But a Q-tip, it says like stick with cotton on it. Like if you get an off-brand one. How fucking dumb does that sound? Dumb. Dumb. So I think- yeah, that's why I have beef with. To be honest with you. I just okay. I, I just have a problem with people who who are acting like they are uh, you know more genuine and better than they are, and I think they're full of shit. You know what? Write them a letter. I will write them a letter. Got no problem doing it. Yep. Hi, hello, it's me. Fuck I you. bet they get hundreds of letters a day saying I shoved this shit in my ear. Well, and you know what's interesting is that no. I shouldn't bring up earwax. Why not? Our, I our originally... listeners have mm. earwax. Everybody does. It's okay. It's not like you're fucking Shrek pulling it out of your ear and making a candle out of it. What an iconic <laughs> scene. <laughs> you're like, you're like, it's oh. not like I am. Oh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, I built you this. You don't like it? You, oh, you don't like it? I'm starting a Yankee candle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I named him John Wick. <laughs> no. So, here's the thing. Is that I was trying to get earwax removed. And so I bought, uh, I have the D-Brox, okay? okay? The D-Brox, and you put it in your ear. Uh, honestly, it made it worse. All of a sudden, I was in pain for three days because the wax, I guess, it got like even more lodged in my ear because it went from hard ear wax to soft. So then all of a sudden, I'm mm-hmm. like, you know, and this is when I had COVID too. So I was really irritated because I was like, kick me while I'm down, D Brox. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you think that if you th- were confident of using a Q-tip to get it out instead, you would have done that? Well, do you know how I solved the problem? You used a Q-tip. Yeah. Holy guacamole. Yeah. I went against the, the grain? No, you went against the word of the Lord of Lord. Q-tip. <laughs> I went against what Q-tip told me to do, but what they want me to do. Mm-hmm. And the problem was solved. Yeah. So I'm going to keep buying them. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta keep buying you, but take my money. <laughs> um, Who do okay. you have beef with? Who do I have beef with? Yeah. Let me tell you something. I have had it up to here with the internet, and I understand that I gotta move on about it, but I literally can't. I I do not like it when people act like experts. I got beef with people who make these infographics about the hot topic of the day. Yeah, I agree with this. Because here's the thing. Shut the hell up. It's always mm-hmm. the most basic bitch behind the computer who has a graphic design major. Yeah. It's nobody with thoughts of their own. It's mm-hmm. just people who follow the it follow the waves of what's going on. Okay? I saw this thing about the Roe v. Wade thing where it was it was an infographic and it basically said, "Here's what we're not going to do." And then it listed all of these things of opinions you shouldn't have and you shouldn't say these certain things about the Roe v. Wade and all this stuff. And it's like, would you just, you, there's no face to this mm-hmm. saying this. Mm-hmm. You, it, it, 
this is and you're using like these 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 phrases that make it more appealing to the mind that make it more like oh you're giving a list and a list is fun for our brain so i'm going to give a list of here's what we're not going to do and then your brain looks at it and goes yes i agree with all of this look at this little list and the end of the day like if you get critical about it you may not agree with all those things but you're pressured to because yeah. they make you feel rejected if you don't believe in all of it yeah yeah that's the other thing and it's like nobody like the idea around these infographics is that we all have to be the perfect thinker that aligns with i hate to say it but aligns with the hardcore left yeah basically like we and and that's not the majority of people. Right. But but if you don't agree with that or publicly say, hey, I don't agree with all of these things, now all of a sudden you're a right-wing piece of shit. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, uh, whoever's making these... Can you find something else to do, or maybe, or maybe read a book about a yeah. differing opinion from yours, or something like that? It's it's there's no there's no problem with stating fact. There's no issue with uh, going online and giving data. Um, yeah when you are being subjective uh, with the data and and making it seem as though your way is the only right way, mm-hmm. that's where things get messy. That's yeah. where things get messy. When you start adding your opinion to the fact and you don't take any accountability for it and you just push out these infographics, nobody knows who you are, and mm-hmm. you're, you're stating it as fact, mm-hmm. that's where the issue lies. Yeah, and also it's like, everybody is really doing the best that they can so so for instance like certain people were saying how upset they are about the um the roe v wade stuff and how they were like this is a, you know a crime against women and all this stuff and people were like um actually it's a crime against women they them they would whatever it might be everyone is trying their best to be a good fucking person okay when, when you come out and you're like, hey, mm, you're actually not good enough because you excluded this type of person. And what it, it's like, would you just, yep. would you just leave it alone? If you want to <laughs> say your piece, say your piece. Say your piece, but don't make other people feel, feel like shit for, for missing, for missing something. Uh, it's one thing to uh, try and educate. It's another thing to shame for not being... Well, for not knowing or for yeah. not addressing a certain thing. Well, that's part of the reason why some people hate the liberal viewpoint is because they're like it's never enough. Yeah, it's never enough. I mean, what and I'm doing. that really is that really is the truth. Like a lot of times, like uh, people feel like saying nothing is better than saying anything at all because when they say anything at all, it's not enough. And so it's almost just like, oh well, we don't want to hear that from you. You need to do, um, and it's like it it's like when does it stop yeah it's also like when and i know that we are painfully white i understand that okay and i'm not very white white people okay but a lot of people have been saying like white women shut up about this and whatever and it's like i thought my silence was compliance i thought we were all supposed to be in this together so now so do i just shut up on what do you want is me it, to do? <laughs> is it only is it only bad for me to be silent when I agree with you with everything that you're saying? Or which is it? I mean, is it is it only better if I'm silent if I disagree on something? You prefer me to shut up when my viewpoint isn't the exact same as yours. Literally. But if it is the same as yours, you need me to yell it from the rooftops and exclaim it exactly as you would want me to. How does that work? It doesn't. How does that work? It doesn't. That's why we're getting screwed. That's why people keep leaving. That's why people, there's a fly. That's why people keep going from one side to the other is they go, I feel rejected by the side that I originally aligned Mm -hmm. with. But now they're pointing at me saying, 
like, oh, you you straight white male or you straight white woman or whatever it might be. So they go, okay, well, you hate me over here, then I'll go to the other side. That's, yeah. That's what people are, just, seriously, like, that's at, what people are doing. At the end of the day, <laughs> like 85, 90% of things, probably, you agree on. Yeah. But it's like, if it's not the 100%, listen, I know a ton of people who say things to me that I don't necessarily agree with, and they say it left and right, whatever. If you're going to shut somebody out entirely for one opinion that they disagree with you on, that sounds like a sad life. Yeah, it sounds like you fucking suck. It sounds like you suck. Because, it sounds exhausting. Because the thing is, is most likely a reasonable person could have a beer with anybody. Mm -hmm. I could probably have a beer with somebody who's pro-life. I could do that. That would be fine with me. Yeah. I disagree with them 100%. I think they're really stupid when it comes to that opinion. I think that's wrong. Yeah. But you know what? They think I'm very wrong. But that doesn't mean I can't sit across from them and have a conversation. Because right now, in this, there is zero unity across the board. Yeah. Obviously, we are angry. Obviously, all these things. But it's like we just have no understanding of other people yeah. at all. Yeah. None. Yeah. None. None. And, and now look. And people now people are getting shot them. at Subway over Mayo. That's right. Because we don't understand the difference of opinion. What's too much? What's not enough? I mean, I think we really touched on something here. Yeah. And you know what the worst part is? Is that we are headed right down the toilet. Totally. Because it's only getting worse. Yeah. Yeah. So. And, but, you know. We digress. We digress. It's fine. It's fine. Um, <laughs> next segment. Next segment. See, this is what happens. We get pissed off. We get pissed off and we get annoyed. And we only have a glass of wine in. I know. We got to finish two glasses by the end of the episode. That's the rule. That's the rule? That's the rule. It's got to right. be the rule. You well, know we got to I mean? get to drinking. Okay. All right. Cheers. Hey, cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching yeah, Night yeah. Coop, listening to Night Coop. And also, feel free. You can disagree with us on things. And that's honestly, that's part of why. That's part of why we like doing a podcast and why we want to have, you know, this platform is because we are open to people disagreeing with us. Yeah. And and we don't, you know, it, we hope that you continue to listen despite disagreeing with certain things that we may have to say, mm -hmm. and that's fine. That's what we're really looking for, is that there are, you know, there is a mass group of people who... Who go, you know what, I disagree with that, but that doesn't mean I hate you. Yeah. And, and, right and you can say things and we won't hate you. For disagreeing with us. We really won't. No, we won't. Now, if you message me and you go, Hey, you dumb bitch. Yeah, fuck you. I'm going to be like. No, it's a little bit, you know. You know, whatever. coming in hot. <laughs> but if, but, and that's why we we have at the end of this, um, at the end of this show, we have a segment called Open Forum. We want to hear what you have to say. Mm -hmm. Your your voice does matter here, uh, as long as it's respectful. Um, and and we will touch on that. Yeah. You yeah, know? Yeah. Absolutely. Um so the the next segment yeah um do we want to do what are we doing um let me look <laughs> we're doing one that. second we're doing you've changed you've changed oh yes over the past week okay over the past week this is something now this is also something that that shows how well maybe it's not as uh hot topic -y as i thought it was but it's uh <laughs> how something you once had a hard stance on you now have switched sides um, and you can see yourself becoming a better person because of it. Um, however, both of ours are not very serious, but go ahead. I'm no longer eating Italian food after 12 a.m. Well, finally someone... <laughs> <laughs> finally someone said it. Uh <laughs> I gotta stop. Listen, 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 listen. I am all... Listen, body positivity. Sure. I'm an advocate. Sure. However... Yeah. Within my own body. <laughs> <laughs> I have really, I've, I've, um, you know, I've been doing okay financially and I've been eating like it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, and there's no harm in that, you know, get excited. Uh, I'm, I'm eating. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but unfortunately... It hit me on Sunday night at 1.38 when I was stuffing my face with carbonara. And it wasn't a good carbonara, let me tell you that either. Because I had the same thing. And that's when you got to look at yourself and you got to say, you know what? It might be time for a change. It mm -hmm. might be time for a change. I am one of those people who, you know what? You may feel comfortable to go buy new clothes when they start to not fit. 
that's not how I operate because I cannot afford a whole new wardrobe. It's a, okay, bitch, turn it around, maybe mm -hmm. add some lettuce to the equation mm -hmm. and uh, make sure your shorts fit. Well, here's, here's, a, here's a big thing is that uh, if we have stuff in the fridge, we'll eat the stuff in the fridge That's or right. we'll eat the stuff in the pantry. Our problem is ordering in late at night. In Los Angeles, this beautiful city, many restaurants are open till 2 a.m. Which provides a problem for us. For two of us. We need to live in a, uh, we need to live arguably in what, a three horse town? One horse town. One, one horse, horse town. No, that's a stoplight town, don't you think? A stop, one stoplight town? No, there's definitely a phrase, one horse town. One horse. One horse? Name a town that has one horse. No, it, it's like a one phrase. One horse town? One horse town. I'm going to, hold on. Is that a thing? One horse town? I've never heard that before. One in my life. Horse, horse town. Yes. It's a thing? Yes. Oh. One one horse town. It's oh. a song by Blackberry Smoke. But it's also, what does one horse town mean? Small and unimportant place. One horse town? Yeah. So we need to, uh, we arguably need to live in a one horse town. <laughs> well, that was what was great about Great Falls when we were there. Great Falls, Montana. Fantastic. But everything shut down at like, yeah, I mean, the latest thing that was open was Domino's and like Taco Bell, I think. No, they didn't have Taco Bell. Yes, they did. They did? Yeah, because we got it for Bruce's birthday when we also ordered chilies. <laughs> <laughs> we might have a bit of a problem. Bruce uh, is Kelly's boyfriend, by the way. Yep. Um. So... Okay, so that's that's your that's your change. Also, shout out to my boyfriend Xavier, who's going to be doing our clips. Um, so my my how are you changing? My changing. I'm done with hard pants. Listen to me, hard pants. I'm talking. If I don't need to, I'm not wearing jeans. I'm not wearing a, a slack. I'm, I wish I never really wore slacks. I'm not wearing a hard pant. Is, I, is hard the right term here? I don't know. <laughs> Fitted. Fitted. <laughs> I'm not wearing cardboard anymore. I'm not wearing hard pants no more. I refuse. Potato I'm, sack or nothing. <laughs> I want to wear flowy clothes. I want to be that woman who wears flowy clothes. I got to tell you. I'm done was, with the hard pants. Night, there was a night a few weeks ago. You and I both wore flowy pants. And we both, I mean, we looked like little, like, art bitches. We had the time of our around. fucking lives. Yeah, we really did. We really did. You I can eat as much as you want. You can drink as much as you want. If I own flowy pants, Carbonara, 1.38 a.m. No big deal. No big deal. You can move freely. You look like a free spirit. We're not really. We're trapped in our own minds. But but you look it. And that's what matters. On the outside. On the yeah. inside, who gives a fuck? As long as people think I'm at peace, what what do I care? Keep smiling. <laughs> Keep smiling through the hard pants. <laughs> <laughs> no but really though i fuck a belt fuck f girl worse than a scale that's my opinion worse than a scale way yeah. to let me know well because the other thing is this i feel the belt all day long all day long i'm done with a lot of things dude i'm done i'm with over it. it i can't wait until i don't have to wear a brassiere no more Brazier. <laughs> brazier. I hate wearing a brazier. I hate wearing a sports bra. A lot of times I don't wear a bra. Fuck it. I like a bralette. You got a problem with titties? Go talk to somebody. You know what? The, uh, half, the Find country, a half the country has a problem with titties. Half the country got a problem with me. Period. It's upsetting. <laughs> it's upsetting. It is upsetting. It is upsetting. You know what's interesting is that I feel like if I stop my italian food after mm -hmm. 12 a.m mm -hmm. and you start with more flowy pants we'll meet an equilibrium we'll meet in the middle yeah you will i will become free and you will become free i'm gonna start wearing flowy pants too though i think i think i'm done and maybe more dresses Dresses, flowy dresses. I'm done, man. I'm done. Because here's the thing. Is that even if you have the body that you perfectly want, it's just more comfortable. It's just more comfortable. It's just more comfortable. And you look you look good when you're healthy in flowy pants. I think I need to go to Old Navy. I think. <laughs> no, I think we can go. Can somewhere. I say something about Old Navy, though? They've dropped Do the you guys make opinion. anything that's good looking? 
No, they don't. At all? I'll answer Maybe that back in the day, there were a few things, and you guys were great in regards to 4th of July with a good t-shirt. But to be yeah. honest with you, you go in there, and everything in there is frump Fr- a dump. <laughs> frump a dump, girl. Frump a dump. Frump a dump. It's true. It's true. <laughs> frump a dump. It's insane. Same thing with Target, honestly. That's why I got to shop in the freaking junior section. At Target. Yeah. Because because everything in the... That's what oh, you do have to love about these places is they do make you feel young. Because you're walking in, you're going, I can't put on any of this. Yeah. I'm not 78. You tell them. I will. All right. Let's 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 have another glass of wine before we do uh, Hannah House open mic. <laughs> yeah. Let me grab... Hold on. Let me grab it. Oh, my God. The sweat on this. No, I have sweat dripping down to my believe. ankles. believe. Dripping down to my ankles. Hey, excuse me. Oh my gosh! I uh, know I'm so sweaty. It's, it's insane. Really, it's oh. it's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> it's so okay. And slide on so the- this this <laughs> next section that we have, you know, deep down we are artists, if you will, and um, so we've decided to do a segment called the Hen House Open Mic. Thank you. Where we will do. <laughs> You dripped a little soft blanc on me. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to take Didn't a nap mean... after this. I got a show tonight. Long Beach. And we killed that, didn't we? Okay. So the Hen House Open Mic, welcome everybody. Uh, we're gonna do our best to keep a street. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Say something. No. Oh, okay. We're gonna do our best to keep a straight face right. about it. Um, because at the end of the day, sometimes, you know, whether, whether, you know, you are in comedy or you whatever, you got some deep things to say. And so we've decided to do some poems for you today. Now the hen house open mic going forward, it can be really anything. It can be a poem. It can be a monologue. It can be a, it can be <laughs> a hot two minute set from this one over here. Yeah. Or maybe even from me. Um, you know, it can be really anything that you want. It could be a song. It's a mixed mic. Mixed mic. Okay. Okay. Kelly, I would love for you to go first. Okay. I so the theme this week was the earth. Yes. Um, so I did a poem for you. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, hold on. Oh, you need a sip of wine first before I do my poem. Okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Destruction. Tension. Hmm. Round. My feet (laughs) are on the ground, Mm. but yet I feel nothing. Spinning and spinning and spinning, but I am numb to the nausea that comes with existing on planet Earth. (laughs) Just kidding. Jesus. (laughs) Just kidding. Mm -hmm. I am having a great time. (laughs) Truly. (laughs) Things are bad, but I am happy to be here. I am destructive. I am tension. I am round. Thank you. <laughs> I am <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Good point. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Your turn. All right. <laughs> Hold on. Pebble, rock, boulder. Pebble, rock, boulder. Boulder, rock, pebble. Uh, Pebble, rock, boulder, 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 (laughs) rock, pebble. Pebble, 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 rock, boulder, boulder, boulder. Rock, 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 pebble, pebble. Size does not determine comfort. As the pebble... At the right speed, 
has for sure killed a fellow. The boulder in the right location has been but a seat for view. And the rock has for sure given us all a good laugh or two. Dwayne. <laughs> Thank you. Dwayne. <laughs> I, it, it had him. Here's what's crazy: is it had a moment where it was honestly beautiful. Which part? <laughs> I thought the graphics that you did, the, the uh, size. You know, but I got a little lost in my. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the I don't know if the hand movement. Well, was. you know, sometimes you know it's like, was it a rock or was it a boulder? And you're in the in between spot. <laughs> so yeah, was it a really big rock or was it a small boulder? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Who's to say? I thought yours was really nice. <laughs> <laughs> I called myself round. Well, well, rounded. You could view it as that way. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, <laughs> uh, next week maybe we'll have you know we'll have uh, another topic for you. And um, I think, but for our first show, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> that wasn't too bad for our first open mic. That wasn't too bad yeah, for no. our first open yeah, mic. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and be sure to use your drink ticket. <laughs> All right. Mm. Next segment is called What the Cluck. And it this <laughs> literally made me cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. What the Cluck. What the Cluck. Yeah. This segment is basically about things that happened throughout this week where we were like, w like, you know those moments with, when, you're, when you're with another person or you're dealing with another person mm -hmm. and you're like, what the hell is wrong with you? What is going on? These are those stories. What the clock? It makes you say, you know, what the fuck are you doing? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead. So when I was at work the other day. What happened? Uh, <laughs> when I was at work the other day, I was wearing my mask because I just got diagnosed. Not just got diagnosed. <laughs> but diagnosed. I, <laughs> I, had, I had COVID. And uh, I was back at work and I was wearing my mask because I was being courteous, of course. And, you know, just in case, who's to say? Anyway, so I'm wearing my mask and this woman, she is at our barista station. And you order from our register at my work. And I look out and I say, hi, are you looking to order? And this woman and her son, they just kind of look at me. And they kind of nod. And I said... Oh, you go down to the register if you're looking to order. And they nodded again and said something. And I go, I go, yeah, at the register. That's where you order. And the son goes, we already ordered. We're waiting here. And the mom looks at me and she goes, mm-hmm. And I was like, first of all. Why didn't they say anything? I don't know. And I'm the one with the mask on. And you can hear me. Okay? You can hear me. I'm projecting. I'm the one who you can't read my mouth. You guys both don't have masks on and you're not even answering me. How am I supposed to know what's going on? I'm not in the wrong. You're in the wrong. And she's looking at me like I'm stupid. Like I was supposed to know what was going on. How would I know? How would I know? You're not talking. <laughs> I, I never understand this. People, they, they, they just, I have people all the time in my work who just point. Just point. Use your fucking mouth. You know what, though? You have a particular clientele that that is very like, you know what? You figure it out. Yeah, literally. They they don't. Yeah. They, it's true. Everything it's true, goes. A lot of the people that come into your work go, it, the stuff goes right over their head because mm -hmm. they're like, you help me. You serve me. It's true. It's you true. They, and, and, and like 95% uh, of my customers are fantastic, of course. But like sometimes I'm literally like, y you know, I'm a I'm a I'm a human. Isn't that crazy? I'm a human. You can, like, communicate with me. You don't have yeah. to look at me as though I am, like, beneath you by a mile. Right. Because I'm not. Right. Don't You're not. I'm not. I'm not beneath you, mister. <laughs> and that made me go what the clock. And that made me go what the clock. I want to show my titty on the podcast. Um, 
My what the cluck is for the woman who uh, DM'd me multiple times in response to, and this is really to people in general who do this. Why are you DMing me multiple times when I don't follow you back and you're angry with me and I'm not responding? Why do you still follow me? I don't understand that either. What the cluck? Why are you, like, who are you talking to? Because well, I'm not saying anything back. So what? what's the problem? What's the deal? Are you just hoping that we, like, see it and we go, ouchie? Like, what? Well, the other thing is this is, you know, I know that many other women deal with men constantly doing this and responding and stuff. I don't really get that. I don't get men hitting on me. It's always just somebody telling me I'm stupid and wrong. Really? <laughs> yeah. I think there's something about my voice that agitates certain people where it's... I hear you. I think Not it, that there's something wrong, but I feel the same way about my voice. I think the problem is, is that my voice sounds very like, if you don't agree with me, then you're wrong. Yeah. Which isn't necessarily how I feel. It's right. just I have a very confident sounding voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. So when people hear me sounding confident, mm -hmm. they want to be like, um, no, here's why you're stupid. Right, right, and right. And I'm right, like, right. what made you think that I didn't think I was stupid? I'll tell you one thing right now. Kelly and I are very smart. We're very smart, but we're also stupid at times. If We're it, very, our humor is very silly. So we say a lot of silly things yeah, that if, are kind of dumb. If you don't think you're kind of stupid, you're stupid. You're stupid. Yeah. If you think actively all day, all day, all day, every I'm day. I'm the smartest guy alive. Like, you're, you're an, an idiot. idiot. You're an idiot. No, you have to look at yourself and be like, you know what? I get 80% right, I would say. Yeah. yeah. And I think I do. I get 80% right. But that <laughs> other 20%, oh, man, I'm wrong. The other night I, I was on stage and, um, oh, for those of you who are joining from Allie's TikTok or from my stand-up or anything like that, um, there are, uh, be sure to follow Allie on TikTok. Allie has over 500,000 followers at this point, and I'm a stand-up comedian, so when I talk about comedy, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, Kelly's, Kelly's talking about stand-up. If I talk about uh, my comedic work, it's through video content at this point in time. Yes. So anyways, so I'm on stage the other night, and I said something where I'm going, Kelly, why would you say that? I said that the girl from Euphoria was hot, the, uh, the Hunter Schaefer girl. What's wrong with that? I don't know. I think the way that I said it was kind of fucked up, you know? What did you say? I said the trans girl from, whatchamacallit, is a good looking girl. Oh, I see. Yeah. So then I thought about it and I go, oh, well, you can't, you're not supposed to call them a trans person. You're supposed to just say the girl. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. But right, right, a big right, right. part of her character is that she's trans. In the show. In the show. Ah. Uh, you so know what I'm saying? Because there are many girls from Euphoria, and you didn't maybe know her name at the time, so you just said exactly. the trans Exactly. So this is the trans. Yes. Yes. You see what I'm saying? So, so then I felt bad. Then I felt stupid. And I'm going, okay, a truly dumb person would be like, what's the problem with what I just said? You know what I mean? You recognize that I recognize that wasn't the most politically correct. And also, exactly. like, you know, you can and improve I upon your terminology. Exactly. And yeah. I wish that the people in the audience knew that I knew that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, that's the big misunderstanding that I think a lot of people get is that when people who are in the public eye make an error, a lot of them know they made an error. Right, 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 right. And that's something but that, the, like... the difference is, is that you guys, not you guys, but a lot of people say things left and right all the time that are wrong, but nobody ever catches them. Yeah. Nobody ever makes a uh, mockery out of them. Yeah. Whereas... When you do things and you're doing it in front of an audience, you're just as flawed as the next person, making mistakes, learning, growing. Well, and that's, but there's no forgiveness. That's to it. what stand up should be. You should be able to be flawed because because that's what's funny. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right, so right. like, I don't want to watch. There's this there's this concept that a lot of people do in stand up. Uh, a lot of uh, you know certain people right now called clap there. That's what they, that's what they go for. They want people to clap at what they're saying because it's like, Oh, I agree with that. That's not what stand ups about. No. You know what I mean? But, but the industry loves those types of people because that's what gets shared online because people go, Oh, I agree with this, blah, blah, blah. But it's really not that fucking funny. It's just that they said something that you, that might be clever that you yeah. happen to agree with. Yeah. And so, you know, and then those people, that's the craziest part about it, is I look at those people and I'm like, 
you're not that fucking smart. Right. A lot of times it's it's regurgitated opinions. Opinions. And the stuff that is new and fresh and and like different, some of it's going to be hated at first. That's that's the thing. Some of the things that are the most truthful mm-hmm. are hated by certain groups of people because it's polarizing. There there are a lot of people who before the internet when they came up, a lot of people hated them. But it wasn't broadcasted as as much because they didn't have the platform. Whereas now, morons can say whatever the hell they want about you, and mm-hmm. it's and everyone can see it. Yeah. If you're saying whatever the hell you want about me, you can suck my dick. That's right. And that's glass to a wine. And that's glass <laughs> to a wine. Cheers, bitch. Say whatever hey, you want. Hey, cheers, everybody. That's drinking with us, whether you're having the tea or not. You know, mm-hmm. and let me tell you this. I know at the start of this, I said, I don't know if we have any sober people drinking. But if you're sober, good for you. 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 Do what you got to do. Do what you... That's the thing. Do what you got to do. Do, do what, what's best for you. Do whatever you have to do in this life to not off yourself. That's right. Put that on paper. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know what? <laughs> I could have been a therapist. Maybe. Could have been. No. Should you have been? No. No. I don't think I could listen that much without being like, did you ever think? I'd get so distracted. I'd get so distracted. Well, I wouldn't want to leave certain topics alone. Well, if somebody were just like, you know, I was drinking so much one night and they tell me that they were drinking margaritas and they say, yeah, I had 15 margaritas and then this happened. I'd be like, you had 15? I would be like, what are you? You're not worried about the sugar? You're not worried about the sugar? What kind of margaritas were they? Did they have jalapeno? Where did you have the margarita? Did was they have a happy hour deal? Gold, What's going on? Jen. Yeah, we're focusing on the wrong the wrong parts. Yeah, and it's not because I'm not interested in what happened afterward. It's that my brain can't handle that much trauma. So I'm going to go right towards the thing that's not as bad. 15 margaritas. 15. So. You know someone's done it. Could you imagine? It. You know someone's done it. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I but could 15? never do it. No, no, no. At I least. might be able could to Could you do- imagine if they look at me and they said they were frozen? <gasps> 15 frozen, frozen margaritas. margarita your brain's frozen at that point oh my god I know. frozen I you know what the maximum i could see myself doing throughout a day in terms of a mixed in drink terms of a mixed drink is 10 10 throughout a day a full day 10 but yeah, i'm out same. like a light at 10 p.m probably but i'm not i'm not i'm not drinking that many mixed drinks no 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 i had three last night but i poured them heavy so you know yeah we had but yeah, also, it's three. like, I'm not going to pay for fucking juice. You know what I mean? I'm not going to no, pay for no, juice. No, pour it strong. Let me feel it. Just do the shot. Honestly. At I, some points, I'm just like, do the shot. I don't want to I don't want to play these games. I like a shooter. I like a shooter, too. But that's what I'm saying. I like a shooter. I don't want to play these games of you pouring a drink and me going, mm, they poured it light. They poured it. I, 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 I don't want it to be up to your discretion. Yeah. I want to get what I'm paying for. I don't want to do this shit. No, a shooter is the happy medium, for sure. Because you're like, this is kind of painful, but it's not the worst thing I've ever done. Right. Whereas shot... I After the other night, I can't do tequila shots anymore. I tell myself, no, I can't do it. I don't like tequila. I don't like it anymore. I can't do tequila shots. I can't do margarita. Anyway. Here's the deal, folks. The next section that we got to do is... Feel a hair... On my chest, and I don't know where it is. I don't. I'll deal with I don't it later. See what? Yeah, you'll deal. We're with being it later. real. It's a feather. Uh, it's <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have quite a few questions from you guys. Um, this is our open forum segment. Feel free to send us requests of of topics that you want to do or questions that you might have. Um, let's start off with instead of naming the people who've who've submitted, I'm going to give them a nickname. They'll know who they are. Um, and you'll understand the nickname. Emily you... Browning. <laughs> uh, so, is, no, sorry. no, she won't care. So she got, the, she actually submitted three questions. So we're going to tackle them quickly. Uh, why don't you wear matching outfits? She says. Is this not good enough? Is this not good enough for you? We tried. Also, um, this is insulting because, um, first of all, it's a stereotype that twins wear matching outfits. Okay. Do you feel competitive with other twins? No. No. No, no, we don't. It's very cool when you meet another twin, because you're it like it's very cool because they they understand a perspective that we also understand. Not if you're yeah. fraternal, but uh, yeah. if you fraternal, don't don't be coming to me being like I know exactly what it, being a twin is. If you're fraternal, I'm so sorry. Yeah, they got like half of it. You know, you they get like it. half of it. You weren't the same egg. Get the hell out of here. We were one time attached. We were one. 
Yeah. Okay. Have you, Kelly, this is another question from Emily. <clears throat> have you, Kelly, ever called Allie Kelly? That would mean that I looked at you and thought you were me. No, but I mean, like, sometimes if you're telling a story, you could, you, you know, you would be. I like, don't think I have. I think I've called my, I, th I know what I have done, which is when somebody says Kelly, I say yes. Because I assume Oh, I've done that. I've me. done that. But I don't think I've ever called you, looked at you and been like, what's up, Kelly? I don't think that's ever happened. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, probably not. All right. But I want to be you. <laughs> this, uh, this next question is from, uh, I would call him Portland Sweet Boy. He's okay. a really nice guy. Painfully nice guy. Okay. Okay. Um, he says, why the coop got to be at night? Because that's when the fun goes down. Yeah, it's like after dark. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the next one is from, uh, I would say, Cameraman69. Uh, why are the hottest dudes the worst kinds of people? They're uh, just stupid. They're just stupid. That's I, okay. I had a very hot boyfriend um, when I was in college, and I still do now, uh, but different speeds. Um, and... He, I will never forget it, cried over his math homework. He was awful. That was the craziest thing I've witnessed so in a very stupid. long time. He was so Imagine stupid. Imagine being so dumb that you're angry how dumb you are. You know what I mean? Like, that frustrates you to your core that you're going to cry in front of your girlfriend about it. Yeah. That figure, blew my mind. Figure it out. I know you can't, but... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, this next uh, person is... Um, I would say, what could I give them a nickname for? I would say, um, Gay Croc Lady. That's the name that I'm giving them. Okay. Um, they say, it's starting to feel like the end of the world around here. Is it? Uh, um, it, it feels like the beginning of a new world. Mm. <laughs> It feels a rebirth. A rebirth, if you will. Whether or not we like what comes of it, who's to say? Yes. But uh, perhaps turn turn of events yes. more than end of. But here's the thing, though, is it's like we are on this wild ride. And I think we all just need to join forces, come together. Yeah, yeah. I think it's got to stop being a... It's so us versus them right yeah, now that yeah, we can't yeah. come together on anything. And it needs to, I, I think the, honestly, like, and I, I, I hear you entirely and I, and I feel with you, but I think the, um, the world is over thing, I think has been felt since, um, <clears throat> a very long time ago, probably at the beginning of the 1900s, people started saying like, it's the end of the world at certain things, right? So I yeah. think the it's going to keep spinning. It's going to keep going. I'm not going to say that things are good, right? I'm not going to say that things are good. But I do think that uh, the the end is near type of mentality, I don't think it's necessarily... I don't think it's the case. Yeah, I don't think we're over. I don't think it's the case. The, yeah. I mean... Uh, you know, my uh, our dad tells us all the time that like when he was very, very young, you know, they were teaching them to hide under desks and stuff. And something is always something's always going on. Yeah. You always got to be afraid of something, you yeah. know. And um, I mean, case in point, the pandemic. Right. Yeah. The pandemic in 2020 was terrifying. Everyone mm -hmm. was terrified. Uh, before the vaccine came out, it was like, oh, no, if I get this thing, I'm going to be hospitalized or die. That's what you thought, right? Yeah. And now we're at the point where it's like, okay, we can run around and, you know, we might get it and it might be bad, but it's not going to be life altering. Yeah. You know, so yeah. so give it things, some time. Things are going to happen. You know? Yeah. In every in everybody's lifetime, there's going to be one thing or multiple things where people go, whoa. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's just, that's what it is. But yeah. it's, it's okay. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. So our last, our last topic is from, uh, last question, if you will. Our last question, if you will, is, is from Tyler. Uh, he says, if you're picking up a friend and you text five away, should they be outside waiting or do you have to text here? In Los Angeles, you need to text here. 
Yes. And the reason why is because it's always longer than five minutes. It's always longer than five minutes. If they have an apartment complex that they need to walk down or whatever, or they, I mean, yeah, it's, it's different if you're on a suburban street waiting outside by yourself, no big deal. Waiting outside on these streets. I need to know you're here. I need to know you're here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but at the same time, be respectful. If they're here, don't make them wait with their hazards yeah, on. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. They, I mean, you better be ready to go just in your apartment and just walk down. That's yeah. it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's how we feel. All righty, guys. Uh, we've talked for a long fucking time. Yeah. Um, but this is the first episode. So thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Uh, this has been Night Coop. We're excited to see you on the next episode. And remember, you can follow us on Instagram at I am Allie Ryan. And this, this is, is Kelly, Kelly Ryan. Ryan. And you can also follow me on TikTok. I am Allie Ryan. Feel and free to look at my website for shows. Kellycomedy.com. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.